There is no adwa contagion of disease without Allah's permission, nor is at the tayyur any bad omen from birds, nor there is any hama, the omen of the night, a owl, nor there is any bad omen in the month of Safar. At tayyur what is the meaning of at tayyur At tayyur is bad omens which normally come from what is seen or heard or specific days or months or etc. Why is it called at tayyur As at tayyur is bad omens from birds because the Arabs the tayyur started from bad omens from birds. Examples of bad omens like when looking at some Pacific birds or animals or crows or a Pacific day or looking at a black cat or bad omen when looking at a disabled person bad omens from some Pacific days like the month of Safar and bad omens in some Pacific numbers like some innovators have bad omens in the number 10 and uh, westerners have bad omen in the number 13 a bad omen when when you're seeing something bro break it, broken bad omens in pacific stars or planets what is the bad omen that, is, that the person is forbidden of is the bad omen that makes somebody either to do something or stop from or stop doing something but what he feels what anybody feels in himself you uh, the person is not blamed for it as he cannot control himself because he cannot control himself for that only if it makes him to do something to go forward in doing something or to stop something that he planned to do does at the tayyur affect the muslims belief the answer yes it does affect his belief because it makes him weak in relying on allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it makes him rely on things that do not benefit him nor harm him at the tayyur is it considered to be shirk shirk means polytheism is it considered to be big shirk or small shirk it is considered to be small shirk as it goes against the full believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and relying on him the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said taking omens is polytheism taking omens is polytheism he said it three times every one of us has some but Allah removes it by trust in him and in another narration the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said and in another hadith there is no adwa contagion of disease without Allah's permission nor is at the tayyur any bad omens from birds but a person who has bad omens and who has fallen into it what should he do first he should repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he is encouraged to say oh Allah there is no potent other than your potent no goodness other than your goodness and no worthy of worship other than you how does a Muslim remove bad omens from himself first is to have true reliance in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala second to strengthen his belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Allah's destiny and fate third with knowledge and he should know third with knowledge and he should know that the movement of the birds and etc has no effect has no effect in the kingdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what Allah has decided to happen